Last November, at the time of COP26, the 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference held in Glasgow, a weekend event took place in Bishop Stortford. More than 80 people, some as young as 12, took part in the community climate gathering organised by the Bishop Stortford Climate Group at Birchwood High School. There were no expert speakers, just ordinary members of the public who showed up to address the question, what can we do now to improve the environment in Bishop Stortford? On the Saturday morning, with the help of a professional community facilitator who has worked with Greenpeace and indigenous tribes in the Amazon, the people imagined the future they want for their town. On the Sunday afternoon, they focused on what they could do together to make that future happen. If day one gave a sense of direction, day two was all about action. All the actions that people wanted to see were gradually refined down to a list of 11 priority projects identified by the whole group. They included a cycling network, a car-free zone in North Street, a school run app, a network of school eco clubs, a vegan food map of Stortford and community orchards. Out of this community climate gathering grew an initiative called Grow Green Spaces. Inspired by the incredible edibles movement and led by the indefatigable Wendy Gordon, this project aims to grow food and flowers in unloved spaces in Stortford to increase biodiversity in the town, making it a greener and better place to live. Above all, it's about building community, encouraging people to come together, to work, share, learn, and to get to know each other through gardening. The first stop for the group is the towpath in the town centre behind the Nuffield Gym. Working with the Canal and River Trust, they aim to increase biodiversity along the banks of the Stort and make it a more pleasant area for walkers and residents. April the 30th saw the first working party made up of volunteers giving up a couple of hours of their time to start clearing the area. The plan is to work back to the bridge on Station Road and eventually plant some interesting native species. This project is of increasing importance given the growing number of households in Stortford without access to a garden of their own. As one resident said at that first Saturday session, thank you for doing this, this is our garden. Grow Green Spaces gives people a chance to get their hands dirty, to feel a sense of ownership in our shared green spaces and to meet their neighbours. It's a reminder, in a busy world, of what our community can be. Since then, the group has been running monthly Sunday lunchtime work sessions, joining forces with last year's Indies Green Award winner Simon Baker of Save Our Stort, who run monthly litter picks along the river. On Sunday, it was a hive of activity on the work site thanks to all the volunteers who turned up. Fueled by homemade mince pies and spiced apple buns, Wendy and her team planted the first sections of mixed native hedging. Rowan, hazel, dog rose, crab apple, elder and blackthorn. All free from the Woodland Trust. And they sowed some wildflower seeds provided by the town council. They also continued to clear the area in preparation for more planting. If you'd like to join their next meeting, the date is Sunday, January the 15th from 11.30am to 1.30pm. See you in 2023.